Step into the world of flickering black and white, where shadows dance with secrets and every creaking floorboard holds a tale. Close your eyes and let nostalgia whisk you away to that fateful evening when you first crossed paths with the 1932 classic, The Old Dark House. Do you remember the dimly lit room, the cozy couch, and the anticipation that hung in the air like a delicate thread? As the film's eerie atmosphere enveloped you, did your heartbeat quicken with each unexpected twist? Perhaps it was the way the character's laughter echoed through the haunted mansion, or the chilling storm that mirrored your own racing pulse. The first encounter with this cinematic gem is etched in memory, like a timeless photograph capturing the blend of curiosity and thrill. Maybe it was a solitary journey with only the glow of the screen for company, or a shared experience with friends, punctuated by gasps and laughter. Whatever the case, that initial rendezvous with the old dark house left an indelible mark, a subtle reminder that stories have the power to transcend time and connect us across generations. And now, as we pull back the curtain to reveal the hidden gems and lesser-known tidbits about this masterpiece, let's delve into the fascinating world that exists beyond the frame. Discover the unsung heroes behind the scenes, the anecdotes that add layers to the narrative, and the trivia that will make you see the film with fresh eyes. From casting choices that almost didn't happen to the serendipitous accidents that enriched the final cut, these insights promise to deepen your appreciation for a film that has woven itself into the fabric of cinema history. So, my fellow enthusiasts of the silver screen, prepare to embark on a journey of discovery. Unearth the secrets, relive the moments, and let the allure of the old dark house enchant you once more. Because in the end, isn't it the tales we cherish that truly make life extraordinary? Stay tuned for a captivating dive into the world behind the celluloid, where facts intertwine with wonder and the past becomes a vivid present. In a twist of copyright fate, the 1932 film The Old Dark House remained unseen on television screens until the year 1994. This lengthy blackout was due to the legal entanglement stemming from its 1963 remake, aptly titled The Old Dark House. The shadow of copyright disputes cast over the original masterpiece prevented its televised debut for over six decades. Gloria Stewart, in a candid 1988 interview, offered a delightful glimpse into the film's behind-the-scenes charm. She fondly recalled a curious incident involving the legendary Boris Karloff, who portrayed a character perpetually short of breath. During filming, Karloff, known for his meticulous approach, went the extra mile, or stage, by dashing to and fro to genuinely capture the essence of breathlessness. Amusingly, Stewart suggested he take a shortcut by feigning the exhaustion. However, Karloff's commitment to his craft precluded such shortcuts. The cinematic universe often weaves intricate connections, and the old dark house is no exception. A year later, in the 1933 British film The Ghoul, Boris Karloff and Ernest the Sidger found themselves in a unique butler-centric switcheroo. In the former, Karloff portrayed the Sidger's butler, while in the latter, their roles reversed with the Sidger as Karloff's servant. Such intricacies add layers of intrigue to the enigmatic world of classic cinema, where copyright woes, dedication to authenticity, and unexpected role reversals intertwine seamlessly. The old dark house might have been hidden in the shadows of copyright disputes, but its legacy shines brightly on the silver screen. Green, 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 green. Lost and found, the resurrection of the old dark house in the annals of film history. The tale of the 1932 movie The Old Dark House is one of unexpected twists and turns that rival the suspense of the film itself. Directed by James Whale, the movie was a blend of horror and dark humor, centering around travelers seeking refuge in a seemingly abandoned Welsh mansion during a storm. But it's not the on-screen intrigue that has captured the attention of film enthusiasts. Rather, it's the off-screen journey of the film's circulation and its remarkable rediscovery. The film's initial run was well-received, but its fate took an intriguing turn when a remake emerged in 1963, bearing the same title and helmed by William Castle Productions. This new iteration prompted the withdrawal of the original movie from circulation, casting a shadow of uncertainty over its future. The 1963 version's release seemed to eclipse its predecessor, relegating the 1932 classic to a status of uncertainty. Decades later, in a narrative worthy of a Hollywood script itself, director Curtis Harrington came to the rescue. 
Harrington managed to unearth a printable negative of the original The Old Dark House, ending its status as a lost relic of cinema. This cinematic savior breathed new life into Wales' creation, allowing audiences to once again experience the atmospheric chills and comedic thrills that had been hidden from view. One remarkable aspect of the film's production was the meticulous attention to detail paid to the cast's attire. Amidst the English tweeds that adorn most of the characters, director James Whale had a specific vision for Gloria Stewart's appearance. He envisioned her draped in a pale pink satin dinner dress, aiming to make her, in his words, look like a beautiful flame as she was pursued through the dimly lit hallways of the ominous mansion by Morgan, a memorable character etched into the annals of horror cinema. Moreover, the old dark house holds an intriguing footnote in the careers of two celebrated actors. The film marked the only instance where Raymond Massey and Boris Karloff shared the screen. Interestingly, Massey would later reprise Karloff's role in the film adaptation of Arsenic and Old Lace. The peculiar twist here is that the Broadway producers, who held the reins of the play during the film's production, withheld Karloff from the cinematic adaptation, leading Massey to step into the iconic role. In the grand tapestry of Hollywood's history, the old dark house stands as a testament to the capricious winds that shape a film's destiny. From withdrawal due to a remake's emergence to its triumphant resurrection at the hands of a determined director, the movie's journey is as enigmatic as the house it portrays. Through it all, the film retains its grip on audiences, continuing to evoke shivers and chuckles in equal measure. So, next time you find yourself seeking shelter from a storm, spare a thought for the old dark house and its labyrinthine tale, one that speaks to the ever-surprising nature of the world behind the silver screen. Gloria Stewart's spirited recollections shed light on the chilling making of the 1932 film The Old Dark House. In an insightful DVD commentary, Stewart revealed the frigid challenges that unfolded during the opening sequence's night shoot. While stars Melvin Douglas and Raymond Massey found little joy in the cold, wet ordeal, Stewart found the experience exhilarating. A newcomer to the industry, she navigated the discomfort without complaint, keen to avoid any disruption. A shadow of reluctance fell over Boris Karloff, who was less than enthused about his non-speaking role in the film. Citing a sense of idleness, Karloff's reservations mirrored his desire for more substantial involvement. His iconic presence, often tied to vocal roles, found itself in a different realm this time. Recollections from 1988 find Gloria Stewart reflecting on an intriguing aspect of the film's atmosphere. She and Melvin Douglas, representing a minority of the cast, felt left out as the English actors excluded them during tea breaks. Stewart's observation painted Boris Karloff with a somber, aloof, and indifferent demeanor. In the enigmatic ambience of the old dark house, these behind-the-scenes anecdotes illuminate the intricate dynamics that shaped the film's creation. The clashes of comfort, artistic preference, and social isolation intertwine to add depth to the haunted narrative on screen. Unearthing the untold, revelations from behind the old dark house set. <laughs> Boris Karloff's luminous rise to stardom found its dawn in the 1932 film The Old Dark House. A name once eclipsed by omission from the publicity packages of Frankenstein, Mr. Karloff finally took center stage, credited for his starring role in the former film. As shadows danced upon the silver screen, Karloff's iconic presence illuminated the darkness, marking a pivotal moment in his career. Amidst the cinematic landscape of 1932, the old dark house exhibited an intriguing anomaly. Melvin Douglas, in the opening scenes, crooned a clever parody of Singin' in the Rain. A seemingly anachronistic spectacle, as the iconic Singin' in the Rain didn't grace theaters until 1952. Yet, the original song had debuted in 1929, weaving a temporal tapestry that juxtaposed eras and added a layer of whimsy to the film's ambience. Across the Atlantic, the old dark house welcomed distinguished transatlantic talents to American cinema. Charles Lafton, the British luminary, embarked on his maiden voyage in the American cinematic realm through this film. Likewise, Raymond Massey, hailing from the Canadian expanse, graced the screen, marking his American debut. The convergence of these international talents enriched the film's narrative tapestry and foreshadowed their lasting impact on Hollywood's landscape. 
In retrospect, the old dark house remains a cinematic artifact of captivating trivia. The illumination of Boris Karloff's rightful star power, the temporal conundrum of Melvin Douglas' musical opening, and the transatlantic debuts of Charles Lafton and Raymond Massey collectively infused this 1932 classic with an enduring allure, a celluloid time capsule that captures the essence of its era while influencing those that followed. From shadowy chambers to illuminated marquee, the old dark house prevails as a testament to the enigmatic charm of early Hollywood and its perpetual hold on the imagination of film aficionados. As we bid adieu to the enigmatic world of the old dark house, its timeless charm lingers like a shadow in the corridors of our imagination. Just as the creaking floorboards of the titular abode held stories within, so too does this cinematic gem continue to hold a mirror to our own narratives. As the credits roll and the echoes of laughter and suspense fade away, we are left with a lingering question. What corners of our own lives hold secrets and mysteries, awaiting the curious gaze of discovery? The movie beckons us to explore our own hidden recesses, to delve into the unknown with the same audacity as those characters who ventured into that mysterious mansion on that fateful night. So, dear cinephile and adventurer of the mind, take a moment to reflect. What echoes of the old dark house reverberate within you? Is it the eerie atmosphere that still sends shivers down your spine? Or perhaps the camaraderie among unlikely companions that warms your heart? Maybe it's the thrill of unveiling secrets, or the realization that beneath the surface, we all harbor our own shadows. Share your tales, your impressions, and your personal connection with this cinematic masterpiece. Your thoughts, memories, and interpretations are the threads that weave the tapestry of its continued existence, keeping its flickering light alive in the annals of film Film history. Thank you for accompanying us on this journey into the enigma of the old dark house. Your time and imagination are truly appreciated. Now, as the credits fade and the screen goes dark, remember, the mysteries of the old dark house are not just confined to celluloid. They are the whispered stories of our own lives, waiting to be explored. 